about a month ago, I beat Pokemon Snakewood using Nuzlocke rules. Pokemon Snakewood is a Ruby ROM hack where the whole premise is the Hoenn region is plagued by the zombie apocalypse. And since I beat it using Nuzlocke rules, I was like, you know what? I, I might as well review it as well. It kind of sucked. But that wouldn't make for a good review, and there are some good points to the game. So I thought I'd review Pokemon Snakewood using what's known as the sandwich criticism. Basically what you do is you start off positive, add your negative feedback, and end positive. And I, I guess that would lessen the impact of the criticism or some bullshit like that. Um, anyways, here's the review. First of all, I have to say I did like the individual battles and Pokemon. I primarily played the game as a Nuzlocke, and I had it, it looked pretty tough, but in a good way. And yeah, there are some bullshit ass Pokemon. Great example is the Kenshikuo. We see a hundred of these, and they they have a base stat of 600, all dumped on attack and speed. Like what? But that just means you have to come up with a different strategy, uh, like trying to Oko it before it sweeps your entire team. It's kind of hard, but it is possible. Honestly, as much as I would like to complain about some of the garbage bullshit ass battles, I felt that whenever I lost one of my Pokemon, or like I had to reset a run, I, as, as much as it kills me to say, I don't feel like I got cheated, no matter how frustrating it was. I couldn't reasonably complain, because I, every, loss I saw coming. Hmm. Also the story was pretty good. We're talking about a zombie apocalypse where you fight zombie Pokemon and yes it is pretty goofy that to kill a zombie you have to defeat its Pokemon and then it crumbles to dust. Uh, it's completely fucking different from mainstream conception of how to kill zombies but I'm completely okay with the goofiness. But that's all I can really say about the story, which segues into... Okay, so I did say the story and the concept was pretty good, and it was from the beginning, and, and then it sucked! And honestly, there's no point to the story. There's no point to the story! Our whole goal was to find Landon in May, and then at some point we just stopped caring until we defeat the Elite Four? Like, what? What? Oh, but that's okay because we do save Landon and May at some point. They're never seen again. Never. Nobody says anything. Landon and May are there and then they're gone. And maybe it's my fault because at some point I just checked out the story and it, it turns out we find out that they're in some fucking cuckoo caca land. But not even Birch cares? The ending, which wasn't an ending, ended with them throwing a party saying they'll clean up the rest of the mess, and the storyline ends. I just feel like there was a build-up, and it ended with everyone getting cucked. We we all got cucked, which I guess doesn't really matter because I felt like the ROM hacker didn't care about the story at some point either. Majority of the story is just like forced wall breaks and references, and it, it got real old real fast. And it sucks because the story has so much potential. But the, the, the new Pokemon, the unique Pokemon, I'm super excited to see what the uh, ROM hacker has in store for us. Why do we have to fight the Deadly Seven seven times? Completely pointless. I skipped a bunch of the optional fights. You wanna know what one of the optional fights was? Fighting your dead dad! Like, fuck me, give the character some closure. Like, are we just going to pretend? Like, our parents don't exist during the zombie apocalypse? Is that what it is? Also, you never see the four horsemen after Meteor Falls. Did they just give up? Like, er, this kid beat us. Time to go home. Forget the invasion. What? Also, continuity error. Uh, you find out that the reason why zombies haven't invaded Duford and Slateport is because they're weak to salt. Well, that's a lie because you see zombies defending the Lily Coast sewers, which is in the sea. So they're swimming in the ocean, and they're they're completely okay. And don't say battle zombies because why would they not just invade Duford and Slateport with battle zombies? 
The story had so much potential. Like, you know what would have been good? If, if all the gym leaders were zombies. And each horseman has their own territory to defend. And after defeating a certain amount of gym leaders, you face one of the four horsemen. And when you finally, de finally defeat them, uh, the survivors gain control of that territory. And after beating the four horsemen, you lead the survivors to Evergrande City, where you fight them one more time and face the champion, Senex. You know who the champion is for Pokemon Snakewood? I don't know his name, and you never meet him again after beating him. And I'm not saying get rid of the storyline of looking for Landon. What if Petalburg is one of the last strongholds of the survivors? You go there with the same amnesia, you, you're greeted by your parents, and then they die, and their last wish is for you to look for Landon because he's the only hope. Just a thought. And I'm not going to say anything about the mazes and puzzles, they just really sucked, and it took so much of my time, and... At the end of the day, ROM hacking isn't easy, and based on what I've seen from the Pokemon, the maps, and the triggers, Clearly, a lot of thought and effort has gone into making Snakewood possible. I had a lot of fun in the battles, not so much the storyline. And I guess if you want to check the game out and you enjoy the, the battle aspect of Pokemon, uh, this is a very challenging game to Nuzlocke and you might enjoy it. Just don't come in for the story aspect, because you're not going to get one. But that's it for me. I ranted a lot in this review. It's, it's just the story could have been so much better. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. My name is Quan, and I'll see you all next time.